Hello, in this video, we will understand how to answer if-else MCQs in Java. Now the first thing to understand is what kind of statement if-else is. If-else is also called as branching, control, decision control, block or conditional statement that allows a program to branch and execute in non-sequential manner. So here all of these options are correct. If there is compilation error as one of the options in your MCQs, the first thing you need to check is if the syntax of the if statement is correct. Let's look at these different syntax. If there is a single statement, you can directly write the statement without the curly brackets. Or you can also enclose one or more statements in curly brackets. Here the statement will be executed only if the boolean expression is true. If statement can have an optional else statement which is executed when boolean expression is false. In else part also you can either write a single statement without curly brackets or with curly brackets. You can also have extended if or else if ladder when you have multiple conditions to check so you can add as many else if as you like. Note that here the else statement acts like a default statement and you can either not have else or have only one else only in the end. You can also have nested if where a if statement is nested inside another if. A nested if is same as and of both the boolean expressions in the if statement. Now in this last one, there are multiple statements in if but they are not put in single block by using curly brackets. So the compiler will consider only the first statement as part of the if block. Then it will show an error that the else does not have a matching if. Now what are the other kind of errors you need to catch just on syntax which would end up giving compilation errors. First is note all keywords are in small letters. If any of them are in capital letters, it will be an error. Second thing is do you see a complete round bracket around boolean expression? If not then there is an error. Even if you put individual relational expressions in brackets and then join them by a logical operator, it will still give an error as it expects a round bracket around the complete expression. Also check whether it is written as if else or else if. Note that it is else if not if else. Next else cannot have a boolean condition. If you want to add a condition, it needs a if always along with it. Now else always has to be the last statement in an if else block. You cannot have a else if after else. Now after the syntax of if statement, the next you should check for syntax error is the boolean expression. This boolean expression actually decides which statement of if block will be executed. As you know boolean expression evaluates to either true or false. So if you just have true or false in the if statement, it will work fine with no errors. However, if you see anything other than boolean values like number 0 or 1, it will give compilation error. In Java, 0 is not same as false and 1 or any positive value is not same as true. So if you try to use only arithmetic or assignment operator inside the if condition, then it will give error. So that's why you must have seen if we put only single equal to, we get a compilation error. So what we can use here are any of the relational operators because they evaluate to true or false. Here note that equal to sign always comes after less than or greater than or not sign. You will get compilation error if you put it other way round. Also you cannot put any space between equal to and less than and greater than sign. This will also give an error. Here also note that at a time you can compare only two values. If you try to compare with multiple values in a relational statement, it will give a compilation error. So how do we handle if we have multiple values? That's where we use logical operators which is NOT AND and OR. NOT means reverse, so if it is true, it becomes false, 
and if it is false it becomes true and means all the relational expressions have to be true and or means any one of them should be true here do remember that as per the syntax whole of if condition still needs to be in round brackets now there could be syntax error within the program too however we will not cover them over here now after checking syntax what do you do next most of the programs will be output kind of programs which will check if you understand the exact sequence in which the if loop executes you will solve it in two steps first identify the if else block itself correctly and then execute it in sequence as per output of boolean expression like for example take this two pieces of code and tell us what is the output here the first one has separate if statement one below the other so it has three if statements executed in sequence the other one has a if else ladder so only one if block now in the first piece of code each if statement is separate so all three will get executed one after the other since each of these statements are true the output will have print of all the statements now in second piece of code it is an if else ladder in a if else ladder only the first matching condition is executed so here it will check the first condition since it is true it will print grade c now where will it go next here important point to note is that it will not go and check in all else if conditions it will do check only till first matching if and then exit the if else block so here even though the condition is true for all else if the moment the first if matches it executes that block and exits the if else ladder so here only grade c will be printed so it is very important for you to identify first what is actually the part of if block like for example in these statements you are asked to predict the output here in the first one if you just go on the nice indentation they have given you you might say these two statements are part of else block so will not be executed and only number n which is 4 will get printed however there are no curly brackets in closing these two statements that means actually only the first statement is part of else the next statement is not part of if block at all and whether if is true or false it will always get executed as next statement after if else block so 4 and number will get printed in this question now let's see the question b here too they have given very nice indentation which shows as if there is a nested if and this else belongs to the outer if that is not true here note that the else always gets matched with the nearest unpaired if and not the first if as the indentation is there just to mislead you so if we match it correctly this will give no output let's practice another one here again don't get fooled by indentation identify the blocks carefully first this is first if block then there is a second if else block and last statement is not part of any if else block now we will execute them in sequence as per the output of boolean expressions so first if block is true so it will execute the println statement then second if is also true so it will execute the print statement and print pass then it will go to the first statement outside if block and print try again so this is the output in the second example they have not given any indentation and left it to you to figure out which else belongs to which if here remember that else always gets matched to nearest unpaired if so we actually start with else and pair it with closest if we then go to next else and pair it with outer if so this if else is nested inside the if block now we will execute them in sequence as per output of boolean expression since first if is true it will enter the if block 
and the else or false block is not executed. Here too in second if also the expression is true so it will enter the if block and it will print first. The else block will not get executed. So it will print only first as the output. You also need to know some tricky boolean expressions and how to check whether they will evaluate to true or false. Let's take this example. It has only one if else block. Here too don't get swayed by the print statements. They might just be there to mislead you. Like in this B is true. In the check condition, they have used not operator which makes it false. So it will go to else block and print its B. Now let's take a look at second example. This has one if else block and as there is no curly bracket, the last statement is not part of if else. Now we will check on the boolean expression. Here the expression is 8 less than 8. This would have been true only if they would have given 8 less than equal to 8. So whether they give 8 less than 8 or 8 greater than 8, both are false. So it will enter else block and print 8 is more. Then it will go out of the loop and print 8 is less too. Now let's see some specific behavior of if which you need to be aware of. Like here in this example where float or double values are tested for equality. Because there is rounding of error in floating point numbers, equal to equal to and not equal to does not work as expected. So it is recommended not to test floating point values for equality. So this will actually go false and print not equal. Similarly, it is important to know how OR logical operator work. Let's take this example. Here there are two relational expressions combined with OR. The first one is true, but second one if executed will cause divide by zero exception. So does this code fail? No. We are saved by the way OR operator works. It starts checking from left to right. If it finds any relational expression true, it stops evaluating anything further and enters the if block. Only if it is false, it will go to the next relation expression and then evaluate if it is true or not. Since here the first relational expression itself is true, it enters the if block and prints true. Now there are some questions which require you to have good knowledge of operators and its precedence as it will ask you to do some evaluation before you evaluate the boolean expression. Like in this example, here we see an OR operator so we will evaluate it left to right. We first increment x so it becomes 21 and then evaluate y which is also equal to 21. This evaluates to false. Since it is false, it will go and check the second relational expression. Here 4 is added to x which is now 21, so x becomes 25. It is now evaluated and it is greater than y which is now 21 from the previous evaluation. Since it evaluates to true, so it will enter the if block and print 25 space 21. Let's see another example. Here first we will evaluate A. As per the operator precedence, multiplication and division will happen first, so it will evaluate to 6 minus 4 which is 2. Next we will evaluate B and here too as per operator precedence, multiplication and modulus will happen first, giving us 8 minus 6 plus 5 minus 3 which gives us 4. Now we will come to evaluating the boolean expression in if. We will start solving from left to right. First a is incremented to 3. Since 3 is greater than 1, we get true. Now we just learned that for OR operator, once a relational expression is true, it stops and enters the if loop as it needs only one condition to be true. So the minus minus b is never executed. Inside the if loop, it will now print 3 space 4. Hope this explains how to solve if else MCQ questions. 
you can also use our question bank and sample question papers to practice this if you have any doubts you can also learn from us at simplycoding.in thank you and all the best